I'm a professor of chemical engineering in uh, Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, in India. I decided to be a researcher because uh, that's a very difficult question, actually. <laughs> you have to answer it. <laughs> so, uh, I think I, I was like, after my PhD, I realized that I was liking research. And uh, the easiest thing for me to do was to go into uh, academics because that gives me a lot of freedom to do what I want to do. So I'm my own boss. I can decide whether I want to work in microfluidics, whether I want to work in modeling, whether I want to do experiments. That freedom is something which uh, helps me, uh, made me go into academics and the research. Yeah. To be very frank, uh, there were some uh, students who were interested in doing experiments. And I'm uh, basically a mathematical modeling person. I do a lot of calculations and computations. And uh, now, um, some of the, my students wanted to do experiments also. Okay. And the easiest uh, field was uh, microfluidics because the flow is very well controlled. And there were lots of challenges in chemical engineering, which we could, uh, you know, address because there is fluid mechanics, there is mass transfer, and there is chemical reaction. Okay. So it was a nice uh, combination of physics and mathematics and chemistry. We are looking at uh, designing uh, passive uh, mix, uh, micro mixers by changing the geometry of the channel, making it curved, and then, in, for example, induce uh, Dean's vortices and improve mixing. And we want to see what is the effect of improving this mixing uh, on chemical reactions. Because in chemical reactions, you want to have good mixing, especially when there are two different phases. Um, so this is going to help improve mass transfer because usually mass transfer uh, is a big limitation in chemical reactions. The last result we presented was on a phase transfer catalysis, okay, um, where we showed the uh, influence of uh, you know the uh, rate controlling step. Um, so if a reaction is uh, rate limited, then uh, microfluidics is better. Hypothetical design of a mixer which we have proposed, which has to be uh, experimentally verified. We came up with a design for a chaotic mixer by introducing partial slip on the walls. And uh, so we have uh, made a hypothesis and we have shown theoretically it works. We, so we are proud about it. We want somebody to experimentally use it. In my domain, I think the major challenge is uh, we are doing things in single channels. I do it in a single chip, but uh, when it comes to parallelizing it, to take it to industry, I mean, there would be uh, challenges because of flow maldistribution and all that and uh, people are not looking at that right now. As a chemical engineer, it is uh, trying to take the microfluidic thing for uh, analyzing, uh, you know, um, chemical reactions, number one. We are looking at uh, making a microfluidic device to pre-concentrate solutes so that my sensor can detect it because sometimes the uh, level of the pollutant is very very low and the sensor cannot detect it okay. so you need to you know in increase the concentration by some kind of uh, separation step and then take it so we want to use microfluidics for that i think it was uh, the discovery of nylon manufacturing of nylon The only advice I want to give is he has to read a lot about the area, okay? And uh, that's the first thing because most people think research means just doing work 
without reading. And I think most students do this without reading. So I think the, the advice is read a lot and then do research. Then uh, there is uh, Professor Jensen's lab in MIT, Klaus Jensen's lab in MIT. And uh, he does a lot of uh, chemistry and microfluidics, so it's kind of related. It is uh, point of care diagnostics for health, which is uh, um, right now we have uh, to basically blood sampling, okay, uh, to detect um, malaria, to detect um, dengue. So those kinds of uh, diseases are very prevalent in India. So we want to have very uh, good devices for uh, detecting this.